you're watching another nerd stuff. Uh, I'm a CEO of Bakumi Inc. Great. And uh, the market is like, you know, still winners take all situation. Number one uh, is a uh, Monster Strike, uh, you know, published by Mixi. Number two, Puzzle and Dragons, you know, uh, published by Gun Ho. Those two are making, I guess, more than 100 million monthly. And all the others, you know, could, could make 5 million. 10 million, even though the ranking is like, you know, top five, top six. It, IP is getting very important, and animation anime or console, consumer gaming, you know, anime, uh, IP is uh, very critical for us to be more successful than others. It's going to be a differentiation factor, but if you took the IP in, uh, the profitability could be lower. So in that sense, competition is still high. But, uh, you know, I think especially in Japan, it's very, it's not easy for indie guys. So we usually require 3D, you know, and uh, great graphics and bunch of characters, uh, freaking update and all that. So for, you know, them to deliver that, that you know, kind of game, their scale is not enough. You know, you know, average, on our, speaking of novelage, I think it's going to cost us like three to five million to make one game. Bunch of indie developers cannot afford, you know, developing that kind of big scale game. So it's not just about IP. Also, the game mechanics wise and uh, the game content wise, live ops wise, it's not easy for indie games, game gaming companies to be successful. So they'd better, you know, get help from a, a big publisher. I think definitely, you know, in the near future, cloud game will be a very critical factor. But, uh, you know, uh, there is, you know, uh, difficulty, you know, uh, you know, when you, you, you're going to try to access to the cloud gaming services through mobile phone, the bandwidth is not, a, you know, uh, good enough for now. So in that sense, uh, infrastructure need to be improved more. But uh, definitely, we, 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 we see uh, you know, cloud gaming is coming up in the near future. But initially, it's going to be for PC, I guess. So next, we, we would think about mobile. But it's going to take some time because of the infrastructure constraints and stuff like that. I think uh, Apple TV or you know, Smart TV is a, you know, a sort of a, could be the next sort of a, uh, potential platform for uh, you know, mobile gaming developers. So it's easier than the cloud cloud game, and uh, the you know user always have the uh, appetite to play their game in the big biggest screen. So it's more you know fun and more uh, exciting and stuff like that. So see you know more potential in the U.S. You know, uh, demographic wise and the population wise and market size wise. You know, now maybe Japan may be bigger or U.S. Uh, or already over, you know, uh, is bigger than Japan. I don't know about that, but it's all, almost at the same size, I guess. But uh, in the near future, U U.S. is getting bigger than Japan. That's one. And uh, sort of a demographic-wise, there is a, you know, uh, certain types of a community which is big enough for a Japanese game companies, like uh, anime, you know, or uh, cosplay, uh, and a Japanese type of uh, uh, consumer game fans are already here, right? They uh, uh, have a potential appetite towards Japanese game and Japanese, you know, or IP and all that. So in that sense, we always have a chance in the U.S. market. That's one thing. And even in Japanese market, we never believed uh, a very Western type of, uh, you know, games could be successful. But Supercell sort of reversed that common sense. They were successful. And recently, gaming, a game of war is getting successful after you know a heavy sort of a TV commercial uh, marketing campaign. They are they are you know climbing up the chart, and they sort of take take some uh, you know shares in the Japanese market. So 
you know, at the same time, they have a chance in Japan and we have a chance in the U.S. I don't know uh, who is going to win eventually, but I, yeah, I see more potential in the U.S. market because we are a Japanese company. So uh, we can bring in uh, Japanese content to here to access to a, some segmented users.